Hi guys, Lulu Manor here. And today we are going to learn claw hammer. I've been asked to make this video by my good friend Shane, and hopefully you will all get something out of this and learn how to be claw hammer banjo players. Now to learn the basic claw hammer rhythm, you don't actually need a banjo, but to play claw hammer banjo, well, yeah, you need a banjo with a drone string. But the rhythm of claw hammer is this. And to remember that, a lot of, it's, it always teach you bum diddy, bum diddy, bum. I, I've got a better way. It's easier, as a former drummer, it's easier for me to re remember rhythms if I put words to them that I will always remember. And the words that fit this, and I bet he didn't know that his name was the claw hammer rhythm, but it is. Ben Giddy. Ben Giddy 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 Ben. And that is the rhythm. If you remember Ben Giddy and you better Giddy Ben Giddy Ben Giddy Ben Giddy Ben. That is the rhythm for claw hammer and we will use that throughout the whole rest of this lesson. So to learn that with one hand before we go to the banjo, we're gonna to go to the side of a table and we're gonna learn from there. So let us move the camera and we'll get a better angle at my hand and we'll try doing it from okay, the table. Okay, now we're gonna to move to the edge of a table, which is a great way to practice this rhythm to learn your hand, the muscle memory to do this. If you have, remember our thumb is T and Ben get T. Ben get T, Ben get T. It's easier to do it fast, but it's gonna take you a while to get that. But using the side of the table, get your thumb and the backs of your fingernails. Ben giddy, Ben giddy, Ben. Use flicking your fingers and hammering on like a little bit with your thumb. That gets you that. Now you're gonna have to practice this a lot. You can do it when you're sitting at the table. You can do it on your arm when you're watching TV. You can do it anywhere that you can put your hand like this. You can do this and you're gonna have to practice this before you ever go to a banjo. It's easier to, to do this, to get your hand to mem remember the muscle movements because that's a little bit weird to do and that's where everybody's stumbling block is. So this is the very basic, most simple, we're not worried about picking out any notes. We're just getting our fingers to learn to do this. And if you look, you can see if you ever watched anybody play claw hammer, that's exactly what it is. Hear my hands? Ben giddy, 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 Ben. So get it, it you can get it as fast as you can get it. slow it down. It's harder to do slow actually than it is fast. If you can practice hitting bend down and get flick, bend giddy, bend giddy, bend giddy, that'll make it easier to get to the next step. Bend giddy, bend giddy, bend giddy, bend giddy. The next step is on bend, we're going to pick a single note. So whether you use this finger or this finger for the single note, you can practice. Don't worry about what note you're hitting, just getting that. Ben giddy, ben giddy, ben giddy, ben giddy, ben giddy. It, it takes a little, you can use that finger or I use my middle finger. Ben giddy, ben giddy, ben giddy. Ben. And you're eventually gonna control where Ben falls because those will be the different strings on the banjo for your first note of the strum. But for now, we're just worried about getting your hand to do that and get comfortable with that motion. Once you have that, the rest is gonna be super easy. That's probably the hardest part right there, and it's not really difficult. It just takes a lot of practice. So give yourself a couple weeks of doing it constantly and you'll be doing it in your sleep and you will be good. Okay, now we're ready to move that to the banjo. Okay, now for the next part, you will need a banjo. And I've got my Country Roads five string conversion CB Giddy kit banjo here. And we're gonna do what we did on the table. We're gonna do it on the banjo. We're just 
Bengidi, 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 bengidi. Hear that rhythm? That is the basic rhythm. You can just worry about that for now. Get it faster. And it might sound like you're playing really fast, but you're really not. It's just turning your hand. Once you get that, then we worry about single note. On the word Ben is where you want to hit a single note. So like and you can hit a different string. But that whole Ben giddy, Ben giddy, Ben giddy, Ben giddy just stays the same. our left hand yet have we if you get bored doing that then throw some chords at it and then you can as you get it Put your hammer-ons and pull-offs with your left hand. If you're, the better you are with your left hand, the easier that part will come. And that's the basic claw hammer rhythm. Now, what we're going to teach you is a little bit of the next steps. Once you get that, you're claw hammering. Play your left hand everything's good you're a claw hammer banjo player the next few things are the next steps which I'm not gonna I'm just gonna touch on just to let you know they're there but for for this rhythm this next style is for if you have to play slow and this was developed by Pete Seeger is who I accredited to is that's who I learned it from on Ben instead of plucking down you pull up so it's like Locking up, and I do use my pointer finger when I do that. For doing slow, you know, slow bluesy songs. That's a technique. Then we've got this thing called drop thumb. And drop thumb is, it takes us out of the Ben Giddy rhythm. And it takes us, let's call it Mama Giddy. So it be you drop your thumb down instead of always plucking on that fifth string, it moves to a different one, and then back to the fifth string, like Mama Giddy, Mama Giddy, Mama Giddy, Mama Giddy, Mama Giddy, Mama Giddy. And then there's double drop thumb, where your thumb goes to different all the time to different ones and that gets into melodic playing where you're those are very advanced techniques and you will get to them on your own right now we're just worried about basic claw hammer once you get that then the sky's the limit basic claw hammer learn that technique and then wherever you want to take it there are tons of instructional videos but the basic claw hammer you have to master on your own before you can advance you have to get that down and it's really not hard it's muscle memory in your hand and using Ben giddy Ben giddy Ben giddy Ben you'll notice how it goes giddy Ben giddy Ben giddy Ben giddy Ben that rhythm turns around 
once you do that and get that mastered, give yourself time. It takes time, but like riding a bike, once you get it, you'll never forget it. Give yourself two weeks of pretty much constant practice and you'll be an expert. Okay, that's all we need today. Thank you very much, guys. Good luck and let me know how you do.